Chris Cato is in our control room right now because that raccoon is still out there somewhere, Chris. Yeah, Cynthia sure is, and that's Gabrielle's concern here. She says the county actually told her that the county can't go looking for this raccoon because they say it would be impossible to single it out from other raccoons. But she says they should at least be searching her neighborhood because clearly she says this animal is rabid and attacked her for no reason. It could happen to someone else. Gabrielle had gone to a neighbor's house yesterday to take their dog for a walk. When she opened the rear sliding door, she saw a raccoon inside the screen patio. There he is had apparently shredded some of the chair cushions out there on the patio. Gabrielle says the animal locked eyes with her and then calmly walked right up to her and we'll let her tell you what happened next. And I prayed, I said, okay, no, there's no way this, this raccoon's coming up to me. He smelled my leg, and the next thing I knew, he attached his front paws around my leg and took his mouth and started biting into my um, leg. I ripped him off of me with some flesh pieces. He then attacked me again. I hit him so hard, I just ran into the house and opened the sliding door and smashed it. He was right behind me. He threw himself against the glass door, trying to get in, still trying to bite me. And look, she's got some serious injuries because of this 15 puncture wounds, three slash wounds that needed stitches. She also had to have 10 rabies shots yesterday and she has to go back on Friday and then for the following two weeks for more shots. And Gabrielle was telling our Lloyd Sowers that she's really frustrated because the health department told her that she should have left the raccoon locked inside the screen patio and called animal control. She says that she didn't have time to think about that because she was worried about going to get medical treatment from her bleeding wounds. She shared photos with us that were just too graphic to show you on air of those wounds. Now, we also reached out to the health department and they told us basically what we said earlier that they can't go set traps for the animal because they can't identify it. Uh, we also reached out to Hillsborough County Animal Control and a spokesperson there couldn't even tell us if any effort would be made to trap that raccoon that clearly poses a threat to public safety. And we've also, at this point, haven't seen any kind of public health rabies alert from the health department, which is kind of typical when you see an attack like this. Maybe one of those will be forthcoming, but certainly anyone in that Citrus Park neighborhood there should be on guard. And obviously, if you see a yeah. raccoon, especially out in the daytime, as you know, Cynthia, they're more nocturnal animals, uh, don't approach. Although Gabrielle didn't approach this one, but uh, definitely be on guard, especially too if you're with a dog. Yeah, and I, I think especially because she said it was there and then she you know, it came walking towards her. Yeah. A raccoon that comes walking towards you like that, I mean, there's something not yeah. right because they're wild animals. They should be afraid of you. They so, um, so yeah, just um, give it a wide berth and go and call somebody. Call an adult or if you're a child or just call somebody for some help because don't, don't interact with it. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. Good advice.